Salutations again. I wasn't going to vlog today because I was super tired from the weekend with Alexa, but I had to show you mom's pumpkin stuff. She bought the sugar pumpkin from Trader Joe's that we have been looking for for forever because we didn't know exactly what sugar pumpkins were or what sugar pumpkins. Wow, you might put it the wrong way. You know, Wait, what happened? Okay, crisis averted. So, um, we finally found the sugar pumpkin that mom was looking for because she wanted to make all sorts of pumpkin things. And, um, this is the first time we've ever actually bought, like, the pumpkin, you know, they like, the fresh Because they said they, there's a shortage of pumpkin. <laughs> I don't know if it's real. I don't think but so, because no, there's a lot of pumpkins no. everywhere. Because I looked at Walmart when I went there, uh -huh. there was not a can of pumpkin. Maybe yeah. they have a shortage of canned pumpkins. Yeah, but not a shortage of real pumpkins. Pumpkin, yes. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. But they had the pumpkin stuff that on Trader Joe's, like the canned pumpkins. But that's because Trader Joe's is a separate company. Anyway, so this is what's happening there. Then over here, mom made some fish sinigang yum for herself and dad. It's not John and mine's favorite. I do like the soup and stuff, but like. The fish has bones in it, and I have a problem with that. I always choke on the bones, so I don't like eating it. Um, but she also has her pumpkin seeds over here. What are you gonna make these into something, Mom? Just like you're just gonna roast them? Roast them. Ooh. And then I'm gonna make tempura, cauliflower, and some kung pao chicken for John and myself for dinner. The kids already ate earlier because. Um, they need to get some stuff done tonight. So, that's that. There's mom. And I'll update you guys in a second once they start cooking. And I'll show you guys how mom's puree turns out. Alright, so let's put the chicken in. We really like this pan, P.S. I really like the way it cooks. It'll cook really, really well. My only problem with it is the size. And also, like, this stuff kind of chips away on the side. Like, I don't know how that's supposed to be. And... Like that, some of the pink stuff has come off on there as well, but I mean, it still works, so that's all that matters. So, right, we got our chicken sauteing, we're gonna do the tempura at the same time as that's cooking. This takes about 15 minutes, start to finish. All right, cauliflower is in here. I set it for um, 400 for 15 minutes, and that usually does the trick. And then the sauces, you're supposed to let it melt first. Or you're supposed to put it in hot water first and then put it in the microwave for like a minute and then you put it over the cauliflower once it's done. Okay, sorry I was busy cooking, but mom has portioned off the pumpkin that she pureed. So she has them in little bags, she's gonna put this one in a little cup. I finished cooking my Kung Pao chicken. The cauliflower is almost done, I'm just re-crisping it up because it was sitting for a second. I wanted it to be super crispy. Mom's soup is getting heated up. It looks delicious. And it's almost time to eat. All right, set up the table just really quickly. Super simple today, but it's beautiful outside. The weather is actually really nice and it's nice and breezy. So we're gonna enjoy that while we're eating. All right, guys, it is a couple hours later and I am so, it's like so hot. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like sweating, but um, I'm really excited because I got a couple packages in today that I wanted to open with you guys and show you guys what we got. So first thing came in this Amazon box and this is just like something that um, I, don't know, I feel like we didn't really know we needed it and I'm like it totally makes sense when we saw it and here it is. It's just <laughs> like everyone's probably, you guys are going to be like hating and like that's so ridiculous but um, this is a magnetic microwave splatter guard so you know like when you put things in the microwave and like they can splatter and all that stuff and usually we use like a paper towel but it's like I always use paper towels to heat stuff up da -da -da, it's like a waste so um we got this mom saw it i think she saw it like on amazon no like i think she saw it on, on not amazon she saw it on instagram and then she found it on amazon and She's like, we should get this. And I was like, yeah, we should. So, um, it's cool because it actually 
uh, sticks to the top of the microwave and um because it's magnetic and then you can just like pull it down to put it over your food um so i thought it was pretty cool and now we don't have to use like paper towels and stuff um and this will be perfect and we can just use it over and over uh yeah especially because there's a culprit who I will not name, though I'm pretty sure we already know who it is, um, is always heating stuff up in the microwave, and the stuff just splatters everywhere. And, um, yeah, this is gonna be perfect, so I cannot wait to try it out. I really want to see if it sticks to the top of the microwave, like, I mean, it probably will. Um, the other thing, though, is, like, the size of this is kind of, like, strange. Like, it really is for, like, a plate. Um, I guess it could just sit on top of like a bowl and then it'll pretty much do the same thing But then again, like you're gonna have to like clean this if it like actually spatters all over it Which is like kind of like a thing too. So I don't know. Anyway That's enough about explaining about that thing. So uh, can't wait to try it out. The next thing actually came in This box right here. You, see, you can already see the little thing right here that says Le Creuset which I am pretty uh, excited about. Mom and I have just been like going crazy over Lake Crusade stuff recently. Uh, we kind of have something very similar to this, but it's in a much smaller scale. Um, she has like the grill pan, like it's a yellow one, but it's like a smallish sized one from years ago when she first bought her set of Lake Crusade. And then, um, we got, we thrifted a blue or red one a couple years back, but that was pretty much the same size, um, as the one that we got. So, she recently saw this, and it was on sale. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. Someone's, like, scratch paper was in here, and I think this is Cade's. Because <laughs> we already opened this <laughs> before, but I don't know how Kate's paper made it into there. I think he thought it was like trash, um, but Here it is A really cool Grill pan thing so um, This is like a large I think it's like 12 It might be like maybe a little bit larger, but I think it is 12 inches um and in gray and yeah really excited about this we can cook like shrimp on here steak whatever you want and it's gonna be super duper awesome so there it is i think you can also put this on like a grill like because like when um you're grilling like outside or whatever the grill holes the shrimp can fall through or whatever and this would be like perfect so that that stuff wouldn't happen but i'm um, probably just gonna be using this on the stove though so there's that. I'm just gonna put it back inside the box. Ah! And I think that's pretty... I think that's pretty much it for the stuff that we are gonna unbox right now. Um, I am also going to have... There was also a video this morning for the stuff that I got from the Goodwill um, in the video the day before, so if you guys want to check that out. Um, it was this morning's video. I'm going to have it linked if you guys want to see that. Uh, and the new thrifting video goes up tomorrow bright and early at 7 a.m. And then another vlog is up at 2. Um, so today, like, I was just so tired. Um, this whole weekend, I think I barely slept at all because Alexa was here. And then we would stay up super late. And then I would stay up even later after that to just, like, clean up. Because I, I don't know, like, recently I, like, developed this thing where, like, I cannot go to sleep unless, like, the downstairs, like, the kitchen, the living room, the dining room, like, it's, like, super clean. So, like, I literally have to, like, clean it all before I go to sleep. Because, I don't know, it's, like, something about, like, when you wake up and then you see, like, the kitchen, like, super clean. Even though it, like, isn't because there's, like, a bunch of people in the kitchen in the morning. But, like, the few minutes that you have to see it in the morning when, like, the sun is coming in, the sun is just coming out. And it's just beautiful. I don't know. It's, like, a great way to start your day. <laughs> and it's a great way to end your day with a clean kitchen as well. So, I don't know. If that's just me. If it's anyone else that crazy, let me know down below in the comments. And what else was I going to say? Oh, okay. 
Also, if you guys already didn't know, I know a lot of you guys out there are avid Starbucks mug collectors. And uh, today was the day that all like the new fall mugs came out. And I was I didn't even remember that today was the day. Like I knew it, but then I didn't remember today. And then I remembered at like four or five. And then I was like, man, all the cups are probably already gone. So uh, yeah, let me know if you were able to get any. I know there's like a really cute like shimmery cat uh like tumbler and it's super cute and i know they also have like the color i think they're color changing and glow in the dark or something um reusable cups as well and then i think there's like a cauldron mug that's like black so they have some cool stuff that came out and i would love to see it in real life so i don't know um i didn't try to go out anymore today though because i was just like eh, it's already late uh, I, I will tomorrow, though, because I do have some stuff that I have to mail out. And then um, I'll probably, like, stop by somewhere that might, that has a Starbucks and see if I could find anything. And, yeah. <laughs> I think that's it for the day, though. So thank you guys again so much for hanging out. I know today's vlog was kind of, like, all over the place. Uh, because I really didn't intend on filming today. But then I was like, you know what? I'm going to. Because there is some things that some... Things I wanted to do and show you guys. Um, a mom's pumpkin stuff also. Uh, she pureed all the pumpkin stuff. She's She uh, she separated them into one cup little baggies. And then we put them in the freezer. So then we know how much like each baggie has. And tomorrow she's actually going to make a couple things with some of the pumpkin that she pureed. So uh, I know a lot of you guys wanted to know what she was going to do with them in uh, this morning's video that went up, or yeah, that went up yesterday, when you guys see this, that went up in yesterday's video, um, and I think she's going to be making, uh, I know she wants, to, I don't know exactly what she's making tomorrow, but I know she wants to make like pumpkin bars, she wants to make pumpkin bread, she wants to make pumpkin pie, so there's a ton of stuff, and... Apparently there's a pumpkin shortage, like canned pumpkin shortage. I have no clue. But mom was like, I think I heard that there was one. That's why she bought like the sugar pumpkins because they're also a lot cheaper. And I don't know. We'll see what happens. But that is the end of today's video. Thank you guys again so much for hanging out. Don't forget to check out this morning's video again. Like I said, the new video is tomorrow up at 7, up at 7 a.m. And the new vlog is up at 2. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Alright, bye!